Hey, it's college and career writing this week. I'm Darius Casiano, and I'm here with Miss Baxter, Coach Neat, Miss Stevenson, and we're talking about your college. What college did you go to? I attended Austin P State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. I got my bachelor's and my master's from that school. Uh, I went to Tennessee Tech and went to uh, Austin P. I went to the University of Memphis Lowenberg School of Nursing. Okay, uh, what did you major in? Social work for both degrees. Uh, when I was at Tennessee Tech, I majored in engineering, and when I got to Austin P, it was biology. Was it hard? Yes, that was not my initial degree. I went to school to become a nurse, and I had to switch due to chemistry being harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Engineering is rough. Engineering is rough. Uh, what was your favorite moment while in college? Honestly, everything. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly. If I could go back, I would redo those four and a half years in no time. So everything about college was my favorite part about college. Uh, we had this group called uh, the Blackout Squad, and we just were college students doing what college students do. I just leave it like that. My favorite moment in college, probably moments, was just like being on campus, hanging out, I'm not going to lie, you know, going to the, um, the uh, party a little bit you know but once nursing school started you know that kind of stuff fell back but definitely living on campus the parties the games because you know the tigers play at the fedex forum so those were pretty fun but yeah that was that's about it and what do you got to say about the seniors going into college this year don't take eight o'clock classes um, expand your friendship beyond those that you went to college with, get involved in any and everything that you want to get involved with. Don't get involved or don't go to an event just because your friends don't wanna go or your friends think that's lame. Go, experience it. You may love it, you may hate it, but at least you went and gave it a try. So that's what I say. Man, just enjoy it, embrace it, take in what you can and just have fun, travel, meet different people. Just enjoy it. Have fun, enjoy it, but make sure that you get your stuff done. Like school is priority. You wanna have fun, but you gotta get your stuff done first. And the time is gonna pass anyway. So don't let something, like how long something's gonna take you to do something to deter you from doing it. Cause the time passes anyway. Hey y'all, I'm Jania Taylor and I'm here with Tristan Coffin, Gabriel Lansford, Donnea Hurst, Natalie Morgan, Valerie Flores. And today I'm interviewing students about college and career readiness. So the first question is, do you plan on going to college? I do plan on going to college, yes. Uh, yes, actually I do, yeah. Community college. Yes. Yes. What college do you plan on going to? I plan on attending at Austin P University. Nashville State. Uh, Tennessee State University. And what do you plan on majoring in and how long do you plan on going? I plan on majoring in biology. Uh, I plan to attend Austin Peay for four to ten years. Four years, the whole year, like the whole four years there. Yeah. Either art or culinary. I plan on majoring in psychology. I plan on majoring in biology. Yeah, how long do you plan on going? Uh, four years. Do you have any scholarships or anything? Not at the moment, no. Not right now. I'm trying to, in the process of doing scholarships right now. I have a first generation scholarship on hand at the moment. Well, thank you, Trist or thank you for your time, Tristan. I wish you luck. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Hi, I'm Caitlin Wade, bringing you your College of the Week. This week's college is Kentucky State University, or KSU an HBCU located in Frankfort, Kentucky, and was founded in 1886 as the Kentucky Normal School for Colored Teachers. It is the oldest historically black university in the state and one of the oldest in the country. KSU has expanded to offer over 30 majors in the fields of liberal arts, business, education, social sciences, engineering, science, and technology, and offers several special programs and certificates as well. Admission into KSU requires a minimum unweighted GPA of 2.5 and an optional test score of 18 on your ACT. What about the inside? What is the campus actually like? Well, I can answer that for you. The JRTC program recently had its first college trip, that first trip being to the university we speak of at this moment. 
We started our four-hour journey to the university early in the morning on a charter bus at four in the morning. Arriving at the school after breakfast around 10 a.m., we were sent into their academic service building where we were taught of their requirements, some of their majors, college life on campus, and even ROTC scholarships before heading out into the hallway to split up into four groups for a scavenger hunt. The scavenger hunt assigned brought us all over the school taking photos and interacting with students on the campus. And honestly, I had a lot of fun. Though I don't think I'll plan on attending this college, I can see why others would want to. That's all for College of the Week. The first clip is of Shovel Knight, the Shovel of Hope campaign. It was the first part of the story that was released. You can see in the clip that Shovel Knight Shovel can flex projectiles, and that some of the bosses may be hard, even the first one. If you memorize the patterns of every boss, you can, you can beat him. The second clip is of the second story mode, Plague of Shadows. The story is considered the same as the first one, but you play as one of the other bosses, Plague Knight, who doesn't have a shell, but he throws out bombs and uses alchemy. For a movement option, he also uses a burst of force that lets him jump. Plague of Shadows is similar to the Shovel Knight campaign, just a few different stuff, but that's it. This is the third campaign, Spectre of Torment. It takes place before Shovel Knight or the Plague Knight campaigns, and the difficulty is more higher than the uh, other two. It gives you more movement, more options to move, but more harder bosses. The fourth campaign is about uh, King Knight. It has entirely different new bosses from the other three campaigns, with some returning ones, but most of them are new with an included extra other game inside of it called uh, Justice. It's just a uh, card game of sorts. With all that, I'd say it's a 9 out of 10 for gameplay and replayability.